Oh, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another Trevor's Terrarium here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Today we have a fun little awesome new deck, which is, might be my new favorite deck of Arkansas <laughs> of all time. It's super cute. But here in this land, penguins can fly. But before we do, we go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we love you very much for it. The link will be down below. Today, we are playing with Pengardian Leviosa. And with their ninjutsu and ice wind, they get to fly around and stun everything and kill you. Yeah. As much as possible. Pretty much. And with this, with the new champion, uh, Pengardian Legend Hanzo. He is a... Uh, whenever a unit your opponent controls becomes stunned, you may put the top card of your deck under this card. If it was a penguin unit, you may just draw a card. So, that's insane. So you lose one, quote unquote, and then you draw a card, which is stupid. Once per turn, uh, put two cards from under this card on top of the deck owner's deck. And in any, in any order, ignore the effects of target non-destroyed tower this turn. So dumb. Super dumb. You're like, uh, yeah, that's probably what I don't care what tower it is. It can't do anything. Thanks, bye. Swing in. Yeah, it's a non-destroyed. It doesn't say non-shown. So yeah, if yeah. you know what those towers are, you're like, cool, that green tower? Yeah. No. And don't you, bounce my dudes. And you have some little dudes here to swing on in, sneak in, see what, infiltrate the towers, you know? Yeah. Let them know what's going on. It's ridiculous. And just so, so happened, Tux, the Emperor Spirit, is a penguin. And when this, well, a ghost penguin, but still works out. Yeah. When this unit control destroys a tower, you may draw a card, discard a card. Helps you out. Soul Burst, pay three, stun all your unit opponent controls. Now a stun unit cannot attack, block, or activate abilities until the end of the next turn. It's, it's ridiculous. That's what we're doing. We're stunning all the dudes. And since the fact that it just can't do anything, just yeah. can't. You can pay three and be like, hey, cool. No, your whole board your, can't do anything. All of it, I win. Oh, you have three guardians? Great. They doesn't, don't get to do anything. Doesn't matter. Uh, the first one is Pengushi Ronin. It's a one drop, 1,000. Uh, Samurai Penguin, of course. When your opponent controls a stun unit, this card gets 1,000 and gains Guardian. So that's good. Yeah, it, it, it works. Uh, next up is Pingobi Conran. He is one drop, 500. This card gains insta cast in your hand while your opponent controls a stun unit and arrive. You may stun target unit with cost one or less. So he comes in as an insta cast and be like, hey, go cool, stun that dude. Stun that dude. Thanks. Your little uh, token that you have that's my guardian? No, stun it. Yep. Thanks. Thanks. Pink Guardian Mystic. Two drop, 1,000. Uh, pay one, sacrifice this card, stun a target unit. Simple as that. Just in case you need to do all the other extra things that's about to happen. That dude's really good too because he's a. It's not a tap ability, it's just pay one, so you can swing into a tower and be like, hey, cool, there, and then sack him, stun that dude. Yeah, exactly. Next is the Snowtop Elemental, two drop 1000, arrive, stun target unit. S simple. Yeah, simple, quick, easy. Stun your dude. Uh, Pengushi Kudo, it's a two drop 1500. He's one of the linchpins of the deck for sure, I think. While your opponent controls a stun unit, this gets plus 1,000, so it's a 2,500 for two. Yeah. And when this card declares an attack, you may destroy target stun unit. Just like that. All these other cards beforehand that we just went through, like that dude's stun, it's dead now. Yeah, and with Hanzo, you can put dudes away in the tower that he goes and kills. It doesn't affect him. <laughs> so you're like, cool. Doesn't matter. Let's kill that dude and kill your tower, because I can't. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Pingobi Kishi. 3 drop 1500, it is a uh, insta cast, arrive, stun target unit, and if you do, draw a card. Cool. If you do, like yes. just Great. Eh, you know, you might not want to, but if you do, you get an extra bonus. <laughs> yeah, for no thanks. reason. Uh, Pajiro, Emperor, the Pengaria. It's a 4 drop 2500. He has uh, fleek eyebrows. <laughs> yes, he does. Or eyelashes, for sure. Yeah, eyebrows. So, arrive. Look at the top five cards of your deck. You may add a penguin card from among them from your hand. Place the rest of the bottom of the deck. Exhaust, pay one. Put a penguin card, uh, card unit with three or less from the hand into play. So those dudes that aren't instant cast that stun a dude, he makes them stun a dude at instant speed. Yeah. So, yeah. Enjoy that, yeah, I guess. Anything that just free puts a dude into play is pretty ridiculous. It's just solid. Uh, Pingobi Jonin Mochizuki. He's four drop 2000 insta cast. When this card declares an attack, you may stun target unit. Whenever this unit becomes stunned, you may draw a card. <laughs> so if this guy attacks first, and then the Pingushi Kyoto attacks, they get to kill a dude. Yeah. Together, and you draw a card. And you draw a card, because, you know, whatever. Because that needs to happen, because, yeah. sure. Exactly. Now, to help them out is Kumakori, Pingardian tut Tutorly. It's a 5-drop 3500 legendary deity, so you can only have one. 
It's a guardian, which is nice. All right, or whenever a water unit you control is targeted by opponent's spell or abilities, you may choose one. Draw a card, stun target unit, destroy target, stun unit. Because we just need a big dude that says draw cards or kill dudes. Or kill dudes, yeah, thanks. But yeah, because it says whenever a water unit you control is targeted by a spell or ability. So they're going to be killing things. So it comes in, kill that stun dude. They're going to target it to try to kill it. Well, kill that other stun dude because I know what's going to happen. So goodbye, pretty mm -hmm. much. All right, the first spell we have, Ice Breath First Form Cryo Strike. Yep. It is a one drop spell, stun target unit with cost two or less. If the unit was already stunned, destroy it instead. So it helps, it's a kill spell or a stun spell to help your other stuff, which is really, really strong for one mana. Exactly, super solid. They watch too, many, too much Demon Slayer as well. <laughs> yeah. So Glacial Shuriken, two drop, instacast, stun target unit. Okay. That's, that's all you need. That's pretty good, because it's like, hey, don't. Just stay home. Most of these are almost essentially kill spells for that turn, at least, because you're like, well, if you're going to block, we'll stun that. Swing in. Don't care. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, next is the Snowtop Village, Pingardia. It is a two drop augment, location, exhaust, expel target water unit you control. Exhaust pay two, put target water unit expelled by this card into play. So you can save any of your dudes that they try to kill after you get the trigger from Kumakori. So you're like, what are you targeting my dude? Let's take him away yeah. and do all the things. And now I can put him back into play. Cool. Neat. Yeah. Or every turn you could be like, or every other turn, you know, just bring this dude, uh, exhaust him. Next turn, pay two, come into play, destroy target stun unit. Yeah. It doesn't get rid of the dude. It just... So, like, you can always keep doing it just over and over. Yeah, yeah, which is ridiculous. And, of course, just some basic spells that are really good. Uh, Phantasmal Storm, 2-drop Instacast, still 2,000 to target unit. You can Shard Drain, expel this card from your discard zone, search your deck for another Phantasmal Storm, and add it to your hand. One of the, I think, most powerful cards in Argon Saga, for sure. Yeah. Uh, Omega Magic Mizu, it is two drop instacast spell, choose one, or if you have two or less towers, you choose two. Draw a card, exhaust target unit, or return target unit that's already been exhausted. It's a really good bounce spell. Yeah, it really just works. Next one is Cosmic Magic, Water Magic, it's a two drop instacast, but this card costs one less to play for each face up water tower. So yours, theirs, it can be free, and it doesn't have to be destroyed. Target unit you control cannot be a target of by opponent spells this turn, so it just helps save your dudes. Yeah. So, uh, one of my favorite things. Spells. Uh, and the final spell we have is Pingiru's Decree. It is three drop spell. This card costs one less to play for each stun unit your opponent controls. So it's draw three cards. Whenever a stun unit your opponent controls is put into the discard zone, you may add this card from your discard zone to your hand. So literally, you attack, uh, stun so a dude, good. and then have another dude stunned. Play this for one mana. Get it back after you kill it with the other guy. Yeah, and then play it for two, and then draw two more cards. Yeah, this card is just literally free advantage in this deck because you have so many stunned things or so many ways to stun a dude. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That that's gonna that card's gonna take you overboard where you just win. Yeah. That's amazing. Now, of course, for the shards, we have the Spirit Ruby. As always, uh, control another legendary shard, send it out of here. Exhaust, flip your Spirit Face down, destroy target unit. This one is sadly weird because you might actually use your spirit soul burst more than the actual shard. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have Cryptic Crystal. Arrive, look at the top two cards of the deck and put them back in any order, and then, which is amazing, and then Argent shards as well. Yes, Just simple as that. So yeah, with with that, I think it's. I mean, Dino deck is gonna destroy everything, pretty sure. But this one, I think, is a very second. I don't know. I think this is a good way to stop dinos because it's just like, hey, no. This just gets to say no a lot, and that's what's going to make this be really strong. Yeah, with some tinkering and all this, I can see it as an S rank tier uh, deck for sure. But with that, uh, the deck list will be down below, and hopefully, you enjoy your steering here at Geetopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below, and subscribe to our channel, and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.